It's Vlogmas day 14! And it's time to open my advent calendar. Day 14 is staring at me. Oh, it's one of the squares. Yeah. Yeah. Let's leave it there and hope it doesn't fall into our compost. And now for the other one. Do to do to. Do to do to. Vlogmas day 14. Okay. Okay, it's a regular sized box. And in it is <gasps> Professional. Yes. I do like Professional. I love Benefit. Benefit is probably my favorite makeup that I use. I don't use it all the time though. Like right now, I have Benefit Hola on my bronzer that you can't really see, but I have no other Benefit on. Normally I wear primer, but I decided to try my in transit uh, camera close up thing that I got on my birch box the other day the, on one of my advent calendars is my primer today. And I think it looks nice. Hey everybody, I'm just in my car. I'm not gonna leave my camera there. I'm just putting it there while I put on my seatbelt because safety first. I'm going to Waterford right now. Um, I just need to return one of the dresses that I bought to Darty Perkins. So of the four dresses, three of them are fine, but the one that I was going to wear to the wedding isn't um, really, just doesn't look good. I think I mentioned this already. But one of the things about Darty Perkins is that within the UK, you can do delivery uh, returns to the shop. And on their website, it says you can also do that in Ireland. So it's like, perfect. But the dress that I bought just happens to not be a standard Dorothy Perkins purchase. It's like a luxe sort of line they do. So I have to return it to Parcel Motel. So what you do is you get a prepaid delivery. Um, you go onto their website and you say that you want to return something. Then you go to Parcel Motel and you pay for the return label. And then you just stick it on the bag that the dress came in or whatever clothes you bought came in. And then you just bring it down to Parcel Motel. So my Parcel Motel used to be Clomel. But then when I started working in Waterford, I moved to the Topaz Garage near Marcy, Marcy's. Um, across from the old campus of WIT. So I have to go to Waterford. I didn't think of this. I should have gone online and changed it to Clomel and then done my return label. But such as life. I don't really use Paris Motel anymore, I'll be honest, because I have a an address pal and I just find it's easier because there's an address, there's a post office in Carrick, but they also do deliveries to your door for a little bit extra. Um, now it's a smaller dimension box. But I mean, I got that delivery from um, the one that you saw from Fab Pit Fun and that was a pretty big box. So they, you know, that's the size that they'll do and I'm good with that. Um, I put on a bit of makeup this morning, so I use Catrice uh, Matte, I can't remember the colour. It's ivory or something like that. I have a Laurie and Berry, I think, I can't remember, on my lips. Um, I used my new palette that I got yesterday on my eyes, but I didn't put on any eyeliner. I just put on a little bit of mascara and I did put on nude eyeliner on my, eye, uh, my waterline just to make my eyes look um, bigger. I then used my The Collection... Um, concealer over my foundation. I put on a bit of the Hola um, bronzer, but I don't think it's really making that much of a difference. Uh, I have a Candice, I think it is. No, Cynthia um, highlighter. Then I used my new blush that I got in the advent calendar, which was um, Cargo. And then finally I set everything with some Rimmel translucent powder. Oh, and I have sleek on my eyebrows just to... I mean, my eyebrows are pretty dark. I don't need it, but they just sometimes go with the colour of my makeup. So, whatever. Let's get going. It's kind of cold in the car. Um, I... My, my new dehumidifier, the dot turned pink. I noticed it yesterday. So, I put it in the microwave for six minutes at 600 watts because we can change the wattage on our microwave. 
and it was still sort of pink when I took it out but I just was like okay I'm not gonna put it back in because I don't want to put it in for longer than it states and I am um, it was warm and then I left it overnight when I came down this morning it was blue so that was great and there is a little bit of condensation in my car but that could be just all the hot air that I'm talking <laughs> let's get going I made it to Waterford in one piece oh my goodness the key was insane so this is Parcel Motel so yeah let's see if you can uh see what I'm doing when I get out there so I'm gonna I'm gonna go now So that was relatively pain free, right? Yeah. I mean, I went to, the hardest part was getting the scanner to work, to be honest. You just kind of have to take it out like about a foot away from the scanner and then it'll read it. But if it doesn't read it, you can actually type in the code as well. So that's really handy. Um, so yeah, that's it. My parcel is returned and I should have a refund within 28 days. So yay. Now the traffic's kind of insane behind me, but um, I'm gonna venture to TK Maxx. I'm just in the city square car park. So I went up to TK Maxx and I parked in the Tesco car park across the road as like literally everybody who goes to TK Maxx does. It's a Euro parks now and it's pay and display, but all the pay and display machines are covered. So I thought, okay, I can't pay and display if there's nothing to pay and display with. So I said it to the man I said, what, um, what's the story? Like, you know, obviously the machines are covered. And he said, oh, it's two hours free parking for Tesco. And I was like, okay, I'm going to TK Maxx. He said, well, then you're not allowed to park here. This is the Tesco car park. So if it's the Tesco car park, then why is it becoming Euro parks where we need to pay and display? So he said to me, go in, buy something in Tesco and then leave the receipt on your dashboard. So that's what I did. And then I went into t to TK Maxx and I wandered around wasted time that's what I did it was a waste I saw a really nice pair of Nike high tops and they were $34.99 and they were a size 6 and they were a little bit big but they weren't bad like I wear a 6 usually but these felt bigger than the ones I have on me now um, but I left them behind I decided not to get them I carried them halfway around the shop and I was like nah and put them back to be honest it was I don't like Waterford Tesco or te Waterford TK Maxx it's uh, I know it's, it's the layout. I like the one in Kilkenny. I lo actually, I love the one in Kilkenny. And I like the one in Clonmel. Um, so maybe I'll have better luck looking at stuff there. And then I saw this really nice jumper and I was like, ooh, how much is it? It was $69.99 and that's the reduced cost. I won't want to see the full cost if that's the reduced cost. Okay, I went to Penny's and did a lot more damage than I thought I would. Ooh, oh, that's my ticket. I slot my ticket when I'm getting ready to leave into my glasses for easy access. Um, I also went to Dunn's. I was hoping to get a stocking hanger for Phoebe's stocking, but um, daylight robbery for some of the stocking. So I think Dunn's has notions about itself and one of the stocking holders they had definitely had notions about itself. So I'm gonna run out to home and store and more and see if they have any. And then I'm gonna go home because I'm getting tired. I'm doing good though. Um, it's only 1.42, but I am starving, so I gotta go get food. I'll have something to eat when I go home. Okay, so I'm done at home store and more, and I'm ready to go home. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I got when I get home. Um, I bought some presents for people, but not for everybody. And I got some nice little things, so I got some nice things for myself. Um, it's a good day. I hope you can hear me over the fan, actually. Oh, I'm so tired. It's just gone 2 p.m. So I think I did good. I left at about 11 um, at home. I was planning on coming down earlier and then I couldn't get to sleep last night so I decided to stay in bed a little longer today. Mommy dearest needs to have her eyes tested. She broke her glasses, so. Oh, snap. Oh, it's jarred. Thought it was dad. But I bought this today in Home Store and More. Battery operation, it's got two little lights and Santi, and it's a red door with a wreath on it. And it reminds us of our front door, which is red, and also has a wreath on it, so I thought it was nice. So let me turn it off when I bring Mumsy downtown. Wouldn't it be weird if I called my brother Mumsy? Oh, Mumsy! And then when I come home, 
Ooh, darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, and then when I come home, I'm going to do a haul of the things that I bought. Hey, everybody. Um, so I just wanted to show you the things that I bought and what for today now. Some of the things that I did buy are Christmas presents for people, so I can't obviously show those on my blog in case they see them. And I also bought just like snacks and stuff and a big box of lemon sweets. They're my favourite sweets at Christmas. Um, I also bought a the little Santa Claus and those candy cane um, hooks for the stockings which I've already shown you. Also let me know what you think about the quality of the sound. I'm using a microphone for the first time and I'm just testing it out really. It's a little short so if it works I'll get a longer cable. So everything that I'm going to show you came from one shop and one shop only. They got a whole lot of things for Christmas. That's right. They got a lot for the family. So what did we get? We got these baubles. These are Harry Potter baubles and they're for one for each house. So we got Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff and of course Ravenclaw, which I am. These are five euro, um, as you can probably tell by the giant five euro sticker on top. I haven't actually opened the box. They are sealed. So I don't know, are they plastic? Are they metal? What are they? I have no idea. Um, I know there is only four for five euro, which is when you think of the fact that like you get the big boxes of baubles. But to be honest, it doesn't bother me. Okay, so they're plastic and the ribbon on top is velvet and they're cool. I actually quite like them. This one is really badly scratched. But yeah, that is cool. I quite like that. The next thing that I bought in pennies are just a couple of boxes of nails. So the first ones that I got are these square ones and they are matte purple. So as you can see, uh, they've got a crackle effect and they have a matte purpley and a matte black. And I just thought they were really nice and they were 150. I also bought these square Leto ones and these are matte black, fade uh, like an ombre um, to a pink colour on the tip, a purpley pink. Again, I just thought they were really nice. And the final ones are these mermaid nails. Look at them. They're like almond shaped and they're pixie and their UV gel coating lasts up to seven days. And those were a little bit more expensive. I know, 250. Talk about breaking the bank. And I bought the Matte Collection Lip Kit. This is like their version of the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit. So I bought two colors. I bought Honeymoon and Punked. And I thought the Punked one, so I don't know, like if it's this color, and this color that's going to be kind of dark and that's kind of like I think going to be perfect for my skin color but the bottle itself looks like it's a different color so why don't I try one out that would be a good idea um the first thing is it comes with a lip liner okay and then it comes with the matte lipstick so let's see I'm praying for it yes it doesn't really smell like anything Okay, that's darker. That's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that, that is that is a lot darker than the box. I don't know if you can see those side by side. That is, on camera, I don't think you can really see it, but in reality, oh wow, that is a lot darker than the box. Okay, the pencil, okay, okay. And now the moment of truth. Still doesn't smell like anything. Okay, that's super dark, but I could see myself wearing it going out. So this is the punked down at the bottom. And that's a really bad angle, I'm sorry. I did them in like the worst possible place. So the purple one that's punked, and this one here is honeymoon. It's drying a bit, it's not too bad, but mm, I don't know what it'll be look like look like on. And staying with makeup, I bought this. This is a highlighter um, palette, Gold Rush. It was six euro. Oh, by the way, these are four euro each. And they also have a collection of a mixture, four matte, um, so four of them matte and, and, and gloss. So I don't know, is it two and two or what? But they're eight euro, I think, for the kit and they don't come with any lips uh, liners. Anyway, this is Gold Rush. Um, so yeah, it's just four highlighters. I thought they were quite nice looking in the shop. Um, I picked this one from, like, you know, scourged through them to find one that hadn't been attacked. 
Um, looking at them, they like in the shop anyway, when I looked at them, they were super pigmented. So I hope that they come out. So I'm just, this one is Glimmer. It's the bottom one. And I don't know if you can pick it up there. But yeah, it's, it's Glimmer. The next thing that I got are these cranberry lip patches. So these are, um, I've used them before and there's one in the packet now. One warning if you've never used them and you are going to use them. The liquid inside them just pours out as soon as you open them, which I totally forgot. And when I opened my one the other evening, it just poured out. So that was like annoying. I also bought this, <laughs> this is a, hairband but it's a Christmas tree and I thought it was cute to go with my little collection so yeah what do you guys think is it nice is it nice I thought it was really nice so I bought it and it has a little star on top and the little I just thought it was cute that was um three euro I also bought these really this really cute set of earrings these are three euro let me take them out of the plastic um, I just thought that's what I was like. There's something really weird about them. They're wrapped in plastic. That's it. I never, they, they, you, yeah. Anyway, I just thought they were really nice. They have little bows and little reindeer and little candy canes, little Christmas trees, little presents, and then these little dots. And then the final thing that I bought, I'll probably actually return. Um, as my mother pointed out, um, I already have Christmas bed sheets, but I just thought these were so cute. They're 24 euro. These are uh, the double duvet set because obviously I have a double, I have a four foot bed which isn't quite a double but I have double bed sheets. But these are, oh my god, they're adorable. They're Minnie and Mickey Mouse kissing under the mistletoe. Oh, Mickey and Minnie Mouse kissing under the mistletoe. And they're, I have pyjamas and they have that picture on them. And I thought it would be cute to match them. But that's it. I'm gonna go put the baubles on the tree. Like I said before, let me know what you like think about the sound. I know I did a lot of moving, so there might be a bit of muffledness now and then, or like scratching off of the microphone. So I am sorry about that. Um, let me know what you think. I'm just trying to get comfortable. Let me know what you think of um, the things that I bought. Let me know if you buy any of these things in pennies, if you've tried out things like the, the lip kits or the lip patches. Let me know if you've seen Christmas nails in pennies, because I haven't seen Christmas nails. I love pennies nails at Christmas. I think I could wear these ones. I could totally get away with these ones, but I might actually get my nails done because it's Christmas. There's questions about Paddington on Pointless. I love Paddington. I used, I put on some of the highlighter from pennies on my nose and cheeks. And can I just say, it's mesmerizing. I love it. I love it. I think I'm gonna get this another one in there and it's like a Lumos. Or lunar, maybe. I don't know. It's beginning with an L. But I think I'll buy that too. <sighs> also, I actually do like the lipstick. I think because my patch is on, it makes it feel weird. But it feels... It's not smudge proof, which I'm not... Mm -mm, mm -mm, I don't like that. I like smudge proof. Um, it's not smudge proof. But it's nice. It's I, I like it on. It's a little dark, maybe. But I like it. Also, I tried to do that survey thing that you get when you have a receipt and it keeps telling me that my code is invalid. So angry. I'm testing, I'm showing my new hyper chiller. So I made some coffee and then I pour it in. Now I have to spend 60 seconds swirling. I'm just in the sitting room watching the chase, surprise, surprise. And I realized that I edited Vlogmas Day 13 last night and I was gonna vlog edit um, the unboxing today. I forgot to upload Vlogmas Day 13. So I'm uploading that right now. And I'm actually just waiting for the unboxing which is quite long to finish up and then I'll upload that. 
Hey everybody, I'm just in my room. I changed into my pyjamas and I'm just about to take off all my makeup. But before I do, I just wanted to finish up this vlog for the day because it's, the day is over. Um, I'm, I uploaded yesterday's vlog. Go have a look at it. It's a thing. And I'm currently just finishing editing my unboxing of the FabFitFun box. Um, which took longer than I expected, but it's probably just because it's so long and it has two blocks of those writing in them. I don't, I don't know why. Um, that is it for me today on Vlogmas Day 14. I hope you enjoyed my vlog. Please let me know what you think. Um, I didn't bring the vlog camera with me. Well, it was in my bag, but I didn't like vlog when I was in the shops because I was on my own and there was a lot of people around. And I, you know, I got a bit self-conscious, I'll be honest. But um, that's it for me today anyway. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think about the things I got from Pennies. I think they're pretty awesome. I have the bed sheets ready to go back. So I think I'll be returning those. All that's left to say is that my details for how to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter are down below. Hit that subscribe button to see more of my face. Go ahead and hit the little bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And that is it for me today. TTFN.